Hey, good morning guys. It's CJ Investing here, back with another video. And today I'm just talking about what's been going on, what I'm doing in the market right now, my thoughts, and things like that. So the market, the market has been it's been down. It's it's kind of it's kind of up a little bit right now as far as like the Dow and the S&P 500. But, you know, I just been buying like Intel, Walgreens Boots Alliance and my Roth IRA. And I'm thinking about adding, I'm thinking about adding either BlackRock or what's the other company called? BlackRock or it's like another financial institution like that. It's T. Rowe Price. That's the company. They have an amazing balance sheet. They have literally no debt, virtually no debt on their balance sheet. And BlackRock debt levels are pretty low as well. Their debt to cash ratio is like under one, which is good. You always want that to be under one when you're looking at a company's debt to equity ratio. So, all of the companies that I look at, their debt ratios are under one. And also they they have plenty of free cash flow. BlackRock has plenty of free cash flow. Their earnings per share are the highest that I've seen in the market. And you're not gonna find too many other companies like this as far as that has it all together. BlackRock owns the world. Like you're going on the internet right now and just type in BlackRock and see their portfolio. They own other funds, they own other ETFs and things like that. And ETFs are already full of stocks themselves, 20, 30 stocks. So they already own the, the top of the top, which owns everything. And they're partner with everybody. And a lot of people, a lot of people have their retirement with BlackRock. And they're a very well-known company. I think their market cap is like half a trillion or something like that. But they're they're a pretty huge company. They're not going anywhere. I think they're the biggest in their industry. And yeah, I just I just love the company. I've been I had them on my watch list for a very long time. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity as far as I think it's trading above $700 right now per share. I'm waiting for it to go maybe back into the 600s or preferably back in the 500s because I missed my opportunity back some months ago when BlackRock went into like the 500s for whatever reason. But I was looking at another stock at the time. And that's, and that's how it usually goes. The companies that you want to be cheap or undervalued at the moment you want to buy them, they're usually more expensive. And the ones that you don't want are cheap. So that 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 that's how it goes in the stock market. But patience is key. Uh, remember to hang in there. Uh, leave your emotions, like I always say, leave your emotions out of it. Because if you're making a decision based off of your emotions, it's most likely gonna be the wrong decision. So, the stock market is emotional. People sell emotionally, people buy emotionally. And that normally causes the market to react um, crazily in a crazy rapid manner. So remember to always do your due diligence and think your decisions through before you go out and buy them or buy a company or a stock. But so yeah, I'm thinking about buying BlackRock or T. Rowe Price, as well as J.P. and Morgan. That's a that's a very huge bank, and they're backed by the government. So yeah, they're not going nowhere. And a lot of these, a lot of the people, as far as higher up on the ladder on 
these companies in their portfolio or through their retirement. So they're not they're not really going to let them fail because they have equity tied up into the companies. So these these are quote unquote safe companies. JP Morgan and Chase, BlackRock, um companies like Apple, Microsoft, um Amazon, Google. You already know Google. Google has one of the top balance sheets in the entire industry. They have plenty of cash. They own YouTube. Top two search engines, Google and YouTube. And there's really no comparison to anybody else. So, yeah, they're not going nowhere. But... Yeah, I've been buying Walgreens Boots Alliance and Intel. I haven't been buying Visa lately because it's a little bit too pricey at the moment. I'm trying to wait until that goes under $200 or under $190 preferably because that's just what I came up with as far as the price that I want to buy it at. Over $200, I'm not really buying it because I have other company i have other companies out there that i could be buying that are cheap as far as with their valuation like intel and walgreens boots alliance which are training trading under a 10 p ratio i think they're trading like a 7 or 8 p ratio so those are really undervalued stocks that i think y'all need to take a look into if not be buying after you do your research of course but yeah those are great great companies intel is going to come back um, it's been around for forever. They had some headwinds in the recent years, but like I said before, they're under or around the price that they were, what, 10, 15 years ago, which is astounding because they had they have made so much growth since then. And just about every company has. Think about it. Like, wh which company do you know is not going to grow in 15, 20 years? I mean, that's inconceivable. I mean, companies Companies may not grow every year, but they're going to grow if their financials are in, intact and they have the right leadership, they're going to grow. So either they're going to grow or go bankrupt. And that's going for them to go bankrupt, that's very unlikely. As long as you do a, some kind of research, even if it's a little bit of research. It's going to work out for you as long as you just, just hold your emotions the emotional part is the most important aspect of investing because that's that's what causes people to lose money in the short term making those short-term decisions so that's even more important important I would say than the research part it's important to do research as well I don't want to tell you that it's not because it is but the emotional part it's going to cause you to make the wrong decision so be aware of that i want to say i appreciate y'all for always tuning in showing support watching the videos i'm going to continue to try to upload and things like that i love y'all and i see y'all soon all right peace remember to like comment and subscribe